how to make smooth animations in four steps. If you're a beginner or intermediate and want to take your animations to the next level, then be sure to watch this video. Step one, block out. What do you mean by that? The first step in creating smooth animations is to create a rough sketch or storyboard of your animation. This involves planning out the major movements and poses of your characters, as well as the timing of these movements. However, in 3D, you can do what's called a blockout. This is similar to the storyboard, but it's also different. To begin, turn on the auto keyframe or the lazy keyframe function. Select the rotation and location. Then, you can move the root bones of your characters along with the camera to create a rough sketch and timing of your movement. This is where you will determine how your characters will move throughout the animation. Be sure to consider the timing of each movement. This will help you to plan out the pacing of your animation. A good thing about this is that if you don't like the timing or any other thing on your blockout, you can change it and make adjustments later on. Step 2. Main Movements Once you have your blockout, it's time to start creating your animation's main movements. This involves creating the keyframes that will define the major movements of your characters. In this step, you should create additional keyframes to define the major movements and poses of your characters throughout the animation. Be sure to pay close attention to the timing of each movement to ensure that your animation flows smoothly. Step 3. In Between Movements With your main keyframes in place, it's time to add the in-between movements. Those are the keyframes that occur between the major movements to help create a smoother, more fluid animation. To add in-between movements, move the timeline to a point between two keyframes. For example, if one frame is at 0 and another frame is at 10, then you can move the timeline on frame 5, which is between 0 and 10. Then adjust the position or rotation of your character to create a new keyframe. Repeat this process for each in-between movement. Be sure to pay close attention to the timing of each in-between keyframes to ensure that your animation flows smoothly. Step 4. Polishing The final step in creating smooth animations is to polish your movements. This involves fine-tuning the timing and movements of your characters to create a seamless animation. To begin, watch your animation from start to finish and take notes of the errors that feel jarring or choppy. Then, go back and adjust the timing or movements of those areas to create a smoother transition. Be sure to also pay close attention to the details such as the facial expressions and body language of your characters. Once you've polished your animation, watch it again from start to finish to ensure that it flows smoothly and looks polished. If you're happy with your animation, you can render it and share it wherever you want. Good job. So hopefully these steps will help you in your animating process. Be sure to like the video if you did and thanks for watching. See you next time.